All right, so I'm all set up. I got the wire already prepped. And to length, I got PVC piping all over the place. PVC fittings. I have my SO239 connector. Uh, my SWR meter, the soldering gun. I think I'm ready to get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prep the SO239 to go inside of that. So what do you think? Looking like something. The SO239 connector is on there. Actually, which setting are you on? You're on the close-up. <coughs> so the connector is on there. And now I need to solder the uh, grounding element or the ground plane I'm gonna solder it to that connection right there it's the same way I built the antenna that's in my attic except this one is going outside and going vertical now let me take that camera off the blurry setting and show you I just have the string attached over to the rack and attached over to the shelf and I'll finish putting this antenna together and then I'm gonna tune it all right, we'll be back. close show you what I did the element we probably can't see in there actually I can the element is connected to the center of the SO239 and runs straight through the tubing this pot will be above the roof this part of the antenna is together. Now I'm going to hang up this end wire here and do some tuning. Alright, here's where we're at. I have the first pieces of PVC on, glued in place, the SO239 in place, the coax is now connected, and you notice there's oh, four feet or so hanging out the end on both ends. Wow, look at that. Right off the bat, 1.4. Am I reading that right? Yeah, 1.4. Let's see what 40 says. 40 says I want to knock that down a little. Whoa. That's alright, that we can deal with. Higher on 40 is good. Higher on 40 means the antenna is too long. All right, I'm going to trim off a little bit. 
All right, let's check the SWR. Let's start on one. Move that to forward. Wow. 1.3, let's see, on 40. Still high on 40. 2.3. All right. I'm going to trim off some more. Let's check it again. Start on forty. We got better. One should be really low by now. It's getting pretty good actually. Channel 1 is up to 1.1. So I'm going to take off one more and then it's probably going to be it. And it should be pretty even all across the band. Let's see what that does us on 40. Just under 1.2. And just under 1.2. Awesome. Give that a little twist and a hold. <laughs> I'm pretty familiar with this. If you watched my other videos, I just got done doing plumbing in the house. Right. Let me put that like that. Just to hold it in place. And I got a cat I got to go let up. I'm just going to keep going until it oozes right out of the end here. Get as much down into the pipe as I can. My way through the antenna line. I did my best to uncoil it. It's a brand new coil of cable. I didn't want to have any tight winds anywhere. So I stretched it out to the bicycle over there. But that's the cable that's going to go on it, which is why I wanted to use it so that the antenna is tuned with that cable. So the top half is together. Hopefully this thing doesn't dance in the wind too much. But it's going to get mounted here. So the ground plane part will be below the roof line and below the mount. So there it is, it's installed. The light is still leaning against the garage over there. I just gotta put the lower piece of PVC on it and I'll be done. The SWR seems to be pretty good. Gary, we're going to need to go down one more. Okay. How about a 145, you there? Uh, is this thing sounding better or worse than the other night? I think it sounds better. You copy that. I'm on a half-wave dipole mounted vertically on the back of the garage. Well, you're going to make it sound nice. I can understand you a lot better tonight, too. That's probably a lot different antennas. Makes things different. Copy that. Yeah, we got Alright, there it is. The radio set up. 
That's getting close. Look how low the noise level is. On the dipole in the attic, this thing will register about 4 dB of noise almost all the time. Um, with the sloper antenna outside, it'll register maybe one and a quarter dB. With this antenna, it's registering hardly anything. And the SWR ended up, uh, <laughs> I rerouted the cable and the SWR is now uh, 1.1 on 40 and 1.2, maybe a smidget over 1.2 on channel 1. Uh, I can live with that. My amp will be very happy with that SWR. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the build. I'll talk to you again soon. Moa Junkie out.